this has been our home for the last 14 hours. A bit like a little coffin on wheels. Hi, we're Graham and Tracy, the Flying Finnies, a couple from Australia on a quest to get to 60 countries by the time we turn 60. India is country number one for us, and in this video we take an almost disastrous trip on a sleeper coach from Agra to Varanasi. We're heading out to a petrol station about 10 kilometres out of town where we hope a coach from Delhi will stop off, pick us up, and then, and then head to Varanasi. But the bookings process has been extremely difficult. The payments have been harder. We think that we've got the seats. Time will tell. We quickly stopped off because I believe we've got a loose steering wheel. So our driver has just stopped to get a tool and then we'll be back on the road again. Nothing to worry about here. Feeling a lot more confident. We've made our way to a family restaurant, which we used to like pick up the place. People out the front indicate that there is a coach from <laughs> Delhi to Baranas. We'll be coming through at around about 8 p.m. Almost there. Well, the long shot is paying off. We're in the right place and we have a coach. All we need now are some seats. Or some beds. Or some beds, whichever comes. Our travel in India had already exposed us to totally different modes of transport, but this was to be something else. We were unable to get a train booking and after lots of searching, we felt confident that a sleeper coach would be the most cost-effective and comfortable means of transport from Agra to Varanasi. So, Trace, room tour? I don't know if I've got anything to say about this. Sometimes I think I can do the budget travel. This is this is actually really pushing me outside my comfort zone. We're, we're on a sleeper bus. I don't think there's going to be too much sleeping. Um. <laughs> However, it does have some amenities. We have air conditioning. air conditioning. We do have air conditioning. We have sufficient room for two of us to spread ourselves out. We do have not only a window, but also an emergency exit. So Which is good, because if you look down that way, we can't get off the coach that way, because everyone's luggage is piled in the corridor that you get out through, including our luggage. I forgot to add that this is, it's 8.30 in the evening, and this is like, 10 hour bus ride yeah. so we're on here for a long time and overnight so might need to take some sleeping pills to get through the journey. Trying to sleep when positioned over the rear axle of the coach did not exactly make for a comfortable journey but things were about to get even more interesting. It's getting closer. What it's a moving party. For the next two hours, stuck in traffic, we celebrated with the crowds that were out on the streets. The music was deafening and could be felt through the sides of the coach. How's the show? What's that? <laughs> we don't know where we are. We're probably an hour or two out of Varanasi. It's 5 a.m. in the morning and there is another random, not random, but the Hindu festival slash party happening in the street out here. The whole town is out. Uh, there's speakers, there's uh, floats. It's insane. This could be the start of the Diwali celebrations, but we're not sure. If it is, looks like we're in for a good few days. Keep you sick.
The journey was another fascinating insight into this diverse and exciting country, but after a rocky night's sleep, we were a little exhausted by the time the sun came up. With and actually the incredible experience, or set of experiences on the way, Trace is finishing up quite a bit of sleep overnight, which <laughs> just goes to show that Trace can sleep anywhere. I didn't want to think about where I was or what I was doing, so I just crashed out. The Indie Festival really did set us back by a couple of hours. So what we'd anticipated to be the 6 a.m. arrival, something like more of a 10 a.m. arrival, we just like to have all of our snacks here. We're nearly through them all. It's going to get desperate soon. There's nearly no chocolate biscuits left. We've eaten. Oh, there's one packet of savoury snacks left. <laughs> but the, the key issue here is that the, um, the amenities on board are not <laughs> inviting. And at some stage, Trace is going to explode. <laughs> so I haven't had anything to drink for about 14 hours because I didn't want to have to use the bathroom on the bus. And now that the bus has been delayed significantly, I'm not, I don't know that I'm going to get through the trip without needing to use it. And of course now it's in the worst possible condition it would have been. It would have been better off loading off earlier and <laughs> using it earlier in the trip. Anyway, so I'm probably starting to get a bit dehydrated. <laughs> and another coping mechanism for me on these, uh, on these budget travel days. Time to get off, I think. Everyone's lined up, ready to go. It was at that moment that the coach stopped on the outskirts of Varanasi and we raced to get a tuk-tuk to hopefully find our homestay accommodation in enough time. So this is us trying to get directions to the Airbnb. We've got the Airbnb guy on the phone to the tuk-tuk driver. India is lovely, but not easy. Worth it though. So we're finally on our way to the Airbnb, we hope. Took a while to get a tuk tuk, and I still haven't got to the bathroom. It's now quarter to 11. So we're coming up on, I don't know, how many? What's that? 12, no, 15 hours since I've had a drink or been to the bathroom. It's a valuable lesson out there. Predetermined schedule, you can afford to deal with the delays and the frustration. I can imagine that if you were a really, really tight schedule, I'd be pretty stressed out of that now. The other lesson is if we had been a bit more organised and booked the train that we wanted to be on, which was fully booked, we wouldn't have had to have that experience. That's, that's very true. So despite a somewhat arduous trip, our coach journey led us to a deeply spiritual experience in the beautiful city of Varanasi. Make sure you click like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our Varanasi video and all of our adventures through India.